When I left the Juilliard School and actually started to play the synthesizer, I was, of course, going crazy with the stuff and turning lots of knobs and just experience, experiencing the whole world of sound in a new way. And it actually taught me a lot about music and a lot about just sound color. And uh, you know, discovering the Moog synthesizer was one of the greatest things that happened in my life. Um, an interesting thing that I discovered was a way to practice using the capabilities of the Moog to actually advance my finger technique. And I wanted to show you that because it's pretty cool and it relates to what the instrument can do. One of the things that happens is you have this whole ADSR section, and that basically means attack, decay, sustain, sustain and release, which you can apply to your filter and your, your volume. So, um, you know, the basics of that is, for instance, you can have a sound and have it immediately come in. So when you hit the key, it's like, it's right there. Or you can have a sound that when you hit the key, it fades in like this. People always say, and I guess it's true, that when you don't hear the beginning of a sound, the attack portion, it's hard to tell what that sound really is. So taking off the attack can give some mystery to the sound and change it up a lot. You can also, of course, change the decay, the sustain, and the release. So on a synthesizer, one of the things that you can do is you could make it so that every time you hit the key, like in this case, we've got, you hear the which we can make. This is the decay time of the filter. It's making a It's basically controlling the harmonics over a certain um, course of time. If I raise that up. So what I do is that I'm able to practice bringing in the decay time or just keeping it smooth because what will happen is if I play legato, the first note that I play will use that to the decay time, but then as long as I play legato, it will go with the sustain time, so I'm not re-attacking the sound. So kind of like this, and I'm playing legato. Now if I play detached, lifting up even the slightest bit between the keys, I get this. And then you hear that decay time that I set. And this is a control that you can have on or off, so I can have the option as I'm playing to be like, so back to the practicing element. So what I would do is I would set on my mini Moog, I would set a quick decay, and I'd set it so that it did not re-attack the envelope, which is the ADSR, um, unless I lifted up my finger. So I would practice scales. I'd be like playing, you know. Ah. See, it's not that easy. It really takes some time. So I recommend that to all of you. If you have a synthesizer at home, if you have a Moog synthesizer, set the decay time so when you hit a note, you've got something that you hear. And, and I mentioned resonance before, that the amount of that kind of animated sound is controlled with the filter resonance. If I turn that down, you get more of the pure tone. But to hear the decay, I have that turned up. So it's a great way to kind of uh, bring your fingers into the modern age and, and let them uh, really develop.